Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at NuGet packages inside the .NET project using the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So as you can see, I've got already got Visual Studio 2022 open. I'm using the latest version as of now. So basically, if you haven't downloaded and installed the Visual Studio, make sure you do before, before you come on to the video. But if you have, then let's get into it then. So basically, a new get package contains a reusable code that other developers have made available to you for your, for your use in your projects. You can install a NuGet package in a Microsoft Visual Studio project by using the NuGet package manager, uh, the package manager console, or the .NET CLI. So enough of all the talking, let's get into the real stuff here. So first of all, we're going to create a very simple project, .NET project. So we come, we just open the start window and create a new project. So here, for here, we're just going to create first uh, a console app here. So we're not going to configure anything here. So we're just going to click on the next. And here, we're just going to leave it as a .NET 6.0 framework here. Yeah? And we click on the create. So, We just wait for the project to create. So as you can see, we have a new project now. So to make it even better, we right click on the solution. And we add a new, another project, new project. In this case, for now, we're going to add a class library. So it's a .NET class library. And next, and uh, we create the project. So as you can see here now, on the solution side, we've got two projects. So we click on the program.cs inside the console app here. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to add a, a very simple class, or it's a public class. Uh, we're going to call it product. So we're just going to add some few properties. So we're just going to leave it as it is here. So we have a very simple product here. Yeah? So in this case, we're going to need to come like we add, we're going to add a product and we're going to need it. We're going to need to convert it into a JSON. So to, to do that, we're going to need to download the Newton, the Newton.js, I mean, Newton JSON. So JSON, yeah. You can only you can do that by getting it from the new get package, yeah. So what we do is we're going to right click the project and then manage new get packages. So as you can see here now, this is the new get package manager, and we don't have any package installed on our console app, yeah. So to get us started, as you can see, we have updates, yeah. This is to update the already installed NuGet packages. And we've got browse. Here we can actually install new new packages. So as you can see, it's loading now. So let's wait a little bit. So we have some NuGet packages that we can install into our console app. Yeah. So for this video, we're just going to use the Newton NewtonSoft.json. Yeah. So once we click on it here, we got this window pops out. Pop, uh, pops out on the right hand side. And here, this is all the details we need for the Newton Newtonsoft.json. And here you can also change the version to whatever that is applicable to you. So we're just going to leave it as it is and we click on the install here. So basically the package source is where the the package is being downloaded from. So in this case the Newton.org there are some other sources that you can use depending on what package that you want to download and install. So we click on the install. 
and we are prompted to actually accept the license in detail. So we click on OK. So this will actually install the newton.json into the project. So if we come inside the install, we should have the newtonsoft.json, yeah? And if you want to uninstall it, you can just click on it here, inside the install bit here, and you can see this pops out in the install. You can, you can uninstall here. Okay, so let's go back to the program.cs inside the, the console, yeah? But before we do that, let's open the, the new package manager here. So if we look at it here, and you see we've got the new get that console now. so this window is just to actually download the packages for the console here but if we want to download and install for the whole solution then we right click on the solution side here and manage new get packages for the solution so here as you can see we have the new get for the solution and here we have installed but it's not actually installed on that on the, on the on the on the class library so what we can do is here we can select the class library here and install click on install so this will actually install the mutinsoft.json inside the class library as well yeah so we come back to the program.cs and here what we do is we're just going to add a very simple products so we're going to say products p and this is go to the new instance of it yeah so we're just going to add very simple details so id is equal to one and the name we just we're just going to make the name um we're just going to make a mango and uh description we're just going to put anything So basically, description, description is equal to quarter size. And the price, so the price will be, so it's a decimal, so we're just going to put 10.00m. Yeah, so that's all we have for here now. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to convert this product or serialize it into a JSON object. So if from the beginning, you, are, you recall, we have actually downloaded a package for newtonsoft.json. So this is what we do. Uh, put a variable, json, is equal to, so we can say, let's say, one sec. So we can use the json, Convert, yeah, dot serialize objects. So we serialize the the p the p for the pro um, for the products, yeah. And we can just print it out. Yeah. So let's make a console dot read line here. So as you can see here now, we have actually referenced the newtonsoft.json. This is the new get package that we actually downloaded. And we have used the JSON convert, which is inside the newtonsoft.json. So basically, we have actually downloaded the new get package and we are using it inside our project. This is the main uh, purpose of the new, new get. Yeah, so let's run this and see what actually comes out of it here. So basically, the product will be actually converted into a, a JSON object. So, so basically, it's a it's, it's product here. But what we what we can do is just it's not really converted. It. So I'm just gonna. Uh, basically, instead of the instead of P, we put JSON. It's just a, a little mistake. So we put the JSON variable, this this one here, which is which has been converted into a JSON object. So 
let's run that again and see what actually comes out. So as you can see, we've been able to convert the product object into a JSON object. Yeah, so that's very simple. So you can use this to actually download a lot of new get packages and whatnot. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave the video here. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.